What's up, my beautiful divine feminines and my handsome nephews, divine masculine? Welcome back to the karmic circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, divine feminine, I'm gonna just jump straight off into this reading. I asked, what was the energy going on around you and divine masculine? This may not be your masculine. This may be your twin flame, just your person. I don't know if he's your divine masculine. Okay. But there was something going on for some of you. Now, please keep in mind that this reading ain't going to resonate with everybody. So for those of you that it resonate, take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. If I say he, it could be a she. Okay. Now, I started to read it off with three cards. Asking, what's the energy going on around the divine collective? And the first card that came out was recorded. Then the next card came out, it's fighting for what you love in reverse. Then the third card was sex shop. So right off the top, my intuition told me that you was in a relationship with somebody who you was in love with, but you're not fighting for that love no more. Because either you've seen the recording, you recorded, um, whatever it was, somebody could have videotaped your person coming out of a sex shop with somebody else. That's the overall energy. Something about a sex shop, a recording, and basically, you ain't fighting for it because you done found out. Okay. So let's see what else we pull. Tell me more what's going on surrounding this fine collective. Surrounding this sex shop and this recording. What's going on surrounding... Doing drugs... promiscuous mm. so this is why you're 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 not fighting for this relationship no more your person could have been doing some type of drugs um they could have been recorded doing some drugs they could have been recorded doing something in a um having something to do with a sex shop but the overall energy is this person you know they sleep around a lot. Okay. They sleep around for free. This is this is somebody now. If this is not your energy, divine feminine, this could be divine masculine's energy. Somebody could have showed him a recording about this karmic energy, a karmic feminine who sleeps around. She's a hot mess, okay? This person, um, so far, don't look like whoever the person that's promiscuous. They not sleeping around, you know, they not selling their body or nothing. They just doing a lot of fucking. Now, for somebody out there, somebody may like recording themselves. They may like, re like recording sexual acts with other people. Divine Feminine, this could be your masculine, and this could be why you're not fighting for them no more. They may be promiscuous, doing a bunch of shit under the radar that you don't see. Somebody could be, somebody could have recorded somebody doing some drugs. Somebody could have recorded somebody coming in or going out of a sex shop. Somebody could have recorded somebody being promiscuous, sleeping around with somebody, coming out of a sex shop. falling apart and the situation is about to explode yeah you you could have you could have caught your person somebody seen a person either going in or coming out of a sex shop 
And this could have made you fall into pieces. You could have caught your person coming out of a sex shop or going in a sex shop with this karmic feminine. And this karmic feminine, she may do some sort of drugs or your person may do some sort of drugs. There and and there was a there was a fight. Yeah. It was a fight. Somebody caught their man coming out of a sex shop with the karmic and it was a fight. You know what I say about that? I'm gonna put my cards down and relight my cigarette. If you catch your person coming out of a sex shop with somebody else, you what you fighting for? They done already made their mind up what they was going to do. So who are you to go wreck their party? You can beat them at their own game by looking at them and, and moving on. Not saying shit. Don't fight. Because you really going to make that person feel like they the shit. What you got to do is return that shit, that energy back. Instead of making them feel like they the shit, make them feel like they ain't shit. And if you ain't shit, that's a real fucked up place to be. Because shit is something where, you know, nobody wants no shit around them. Nobody wants to step in no shit. Nobody wants to slide in no shit. Nobody wants to eat no shit, touch no shit. Nothing to do with no shit. So this is what you got to do. If, if this is your energy or if this is some energy coming towards you and you find your person, catch them going in or coming out of a sex shop with somebody, don't be out there fighting over them. Don't fall apart. That's just God letting you know that this person ain't for you. Okay? Because it's telling me somebody somebody is is is, I don't even want to say you're going to get into a fight. I don't want to say that. But I see it here, and you can avoid this fight. And if you're somebody and you're following your person around, stalking them, and you find them, and you catch them going into a, a sex shop, now you got your answer. There's no need to fight. There's no need to get upset. You got the answer that you were seeking if your person is fucking around on you. And that's, again, that's just the way, you know, your ancestors, the Most High God is, is letting you see with your own two eyes. Now that you see that they're sexually involved with somebody else, that's, that's easy for you to let it go. That opens the door for you to heal yourself so you can meet the right person for you. Instead of being out there fighting, getting scratched up, or some may even get beat up out there. You may run into him going in a sex shop with restitution. Somebody may, you may see a, a, a video in your person's phone, a recording of them being sexual with somebody else. Don't fight them. If you got to go through your person's phone, and I've been there, okay? I ain't saying I ain't never did it because I've been there and done that. And you will go through that phone and you're going to find something you don't want to see and it's going to hurt your feelings. If you feel that your, your, your intuition is telling you your intuition is telling you to go on that phone, right? But you don't you don't have to listen to that intuition because you already know. Save yourself to hurt. Just pack your shit, withdraw your energy, and leave this person alone. As simple as that. Okay. That's my advice to you. For whoever energy this is. Already knowing the T. See? See? If you already know and you see them going in the sex shop, that's your confirmation. You don't need to fight. That just opened the door for you to walk away. Okay? Yeah, you already know. Somebody already knows. And maybe you recorded them. Why do that? You're just wasting your time and energy. Bad choice out here. Fake apology. Yeah. See? The bad choice. The fake apology. So, ain't no sense in you falling apart over somebody who's going to bring you a fake-ass apology. 
Um, and it will be a bad choice for you to be out there fighting over this person. They ain't worth it. What the fuck you gonna fight somebody for that's going in another sex shop or recording them doing some, you know, sexual shit with somebody else? You're wasting your time. Let them go. And I'm gonna stop it right there. If this reading resonated with you and I gave you any clarification in your situation, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell for the next short one that I put out. Peace.